Welcome to the Windows and Computer and Technology channel and in Windows 10 we're going to continue looking at some settings that this one might be quite interesting for anyone that has the desire to make things bigger or smaller on their screen. When you use a computer on a big screen particularly this um, could be useful. Um, I know some people have a PC on their main TV for instance their smart TV and um, you know we got a 50 60 inch screen sometimes things are a little small wondering how can things be big enough so there is something called scaling of the screen now you see here my mouse pointer is big my taskbar is bigger my menus are pretty big um, this has to do with the scaling if you right click on your start button go into your settings app go into your system and go into display one of the options is scaling so scale and layout the scaling has to do with how big everything you see is it affects everything on the screen every app you use the taskbar um, every where you will go everything including the text will be bigger this could be useful but it has its drawbacks. By default, there's a recommended scaling. On this screen, 100% is my recommended scaling. But for multiple reasons, I don't use it. And here's why. First, it is small even for me on this screen. Text is very, very small. Now, of course, there's other things you can change the, the, uh, the text font size and everything if you want. But... Um, you know, for the purpose of making videos that you guys can see, I always choose a bigger layout or bigger scale because it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I could choose 125, 150 is often my favorite. And this makes things bigger. It makes things easier for you guys to see at the same time. Now, there is a drawback, which is some text box are not correctly displayed when the layout appears. And it says here, some apps won't respond to scaling changes until you close and reopen them, but they should also add some apps might not respond well to the display scaling at all. And what that will do is that, for example, you might have an app that you have a question, you click to change something, it wants you to confirm with a yes, no, or OK button. Well, sometimes when you scale too big, the box that you need to answer is actually below the taskbar at the bottom. Now, there's no way to scroll there because it is just a plain box. It technically should display entirely into the screen. So, of course, a trick you can do is usually OK or Yes is always the one that's chosen. You can press the Enter key, and that will work. And I've done that a few times in certain uh, apps. Now, uh, that is something to understand. And you might want to change the scaling if that happens to something that is smaller. Um, and once again, there's a recommended scaling. And if, for some reason, the scaling chosen here is either not big enough because the biggest choice is 175 percent, Maybe you want 200, 250%, or maybe you want something in between those numbers here. You can actually customize that uh, scaling. Just below it, it's advanced scaling settings. If you click here, okay, you will have the option here to enter a number. So it says here from 100 to 500. You can say my scaling one's going to be 400. Then you click the apply button, which I won't because it's going to asked me to restart the, uh, the sign out and sign in again, but that will make things even bigger. Um, and once you've signed out and signed back into your account, you'll see how huge things could be. Or like I said, you can be in between some of the settings, the preset settings. So you can have up to 500% available. Uh, people that have, um, you know, severe disabilities and, and viewing the screen correctly. That could technically be one of the ways to help them out. You know, there's the magnifier. There's all sorts of tools already in Windows for that. But maybe this could be one of the tools that's making it, you know, easy enough 
just see what's on the screen in case of uh, some, uh, you know, viewing disability. And um, finally, there's this little switch on off here, which is uh, that Windows try to fix apps so they're not blurry. What it'll do is it'll try to scale the app correctly so that the uh, app looks fine, whatever size you actually choose in here. So scale and layout make everything bigger or smaller on a Windows 10 screen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.